With the Indian economy unlikely to reach the targeted growth rate of 9% this year, a slowdown seems almost inevitable. But how bad will it actually be? And what policy reforms could be needed to tackle it? To answer these questions and to give us an outlook, we are joined by Anil Padmanabhan, Deputy Managing Editor of Mint. Sir, is it safe to say that the slowdown has actually set in? And how bad is it going? See, it's a fact that the economy is slowing down. But uh, I frankly believe that we should not overreact to it. The economy was projected to grow at around 9%. It is likely to grow substantially, not substantially lower, but marginally lower. Now, the big question is whether it's going to be 8% or 7% or 7.5%. I think, frankly, anything above 7% is good news for this country. Is this an inevitable scenario or can it be reversed? Not really, because uh, I don't think it's inevitable. It's the uh, part of the outcome is external shocks that we have seen, whether it's oil price and uh, the overall global slowdown led by the United States. But there are a lot of internal issues <clears throat> which don't need global consent. And uh, there, it's entirely up to the government how they wish to press the uh, policy action, whether it's fighting inflation, whether it is pushing uh, uh, legislation regarding the introduction of a single goods and services tax and so on. So it's entirely up to the government as to how they take this initiative and run. And uh, of course, there's one uh, big Mickey in the pack, which is basically the monsoons. As of now, the IMD predicts the monsoon will be on course, but we are not sure We'll know in a month from now whether it is has stayed on course or not. Do you think there will be any developments in the upcoming monsoon session which will kickstart the reforms? Uh, that's a good question. Uh, frankly, given the build-up to this monsoon session, it's going to be extremely tough because it uh, it has become very polarized, the opinion in this country. It is uh, the opposition versus the government versus the rest, whether it's civil society, whether it's political opposition. So when they go into this parliament, which is a crucial session, you must recall that the budget session was cut short because of the elections into West Bengal and other states. So... This session was supposed to be very critical in pushing through long pending legislation, but uh, frankly, I think we should ready for a huge logjam in this session of Parliament. Thank you, Anil, for joining us. Keep watching this space for more such perspectives from Mint's editorial team. Thank you for watching.